Noodles, pasta, soups, and salads is what's on the menu today in America, but not just from any company. See, this company has been specializing in noodles, pasta, soups, and salads since the 90s. We're gonna be trying them out today. Ladies and gentlemen, I've ordered all of the popular items from Noodles and Company. We got noodles, we got pastas, we got desserts, we got soups. We have a soup, not soups. Sorry. We got all this food for your I got a little too carried away. I'll admit that. Let's, let's just jump into the review. And the first one we got here is the garlic bread. Parmesan and garlic butter melted over some good old bread. It's just bread. A little bit of Italian seasoning, a little bit of cheese, and a little bit of bread. And it ain't even cheesy. It's a little crunchy though, but it's not cheesy garlic bread. I ain't feeling it. Simply not feeling it. I gotta give this a five. The pot stickers. So check me out, I got a fun fact for y'all, all right? Does anyone know how pot stickers got their name? I'm gonna tell you. From mistake to tradition, rumor has it that a Chinese chef intended to boil Giozzi in a wok, but walked away and returned to find all the water boiled off. The dumpling stuck to the pan and got crispy, which is how the dumpling got its name of pot sticker, which literally means stuck to the wok. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Gotta dip it in this good old sauce. Mmm. I actually like that. For those who have never had pot stickers, pot stickers is nothing more than meat, cabbage, and veggies wrapped in a uh, uh, a little breaded, squiggly looking thing. It's pretty good, not crunchy, not mushy, and we dip into the sauce, which, that's soy sauce. When we dip into the soy sauce, it gives it a nice, sweet taste. So I gotta get these pot stickers. A nice. Oh yeah, I'm gonna light these right here. Ugh. These are the Korean meatballs, ladies and gentlemen. They're oven roasted. They're tossed with sweet and spicy Korean style Gucci Jang barbecue. Oh yeah. See, I like the gachujang sauce. The gachujang barbecue is on point, but the meatballs aren't seasoned. These are just nothing more than just flat out balls. These are just balls of meat with no seasoning. I'm kind of in between on the meatballs, man, so I'm gonna go ahead and give them a sell. And the fun begins! We have the pesto cavatappi with chicken. Pesto cavatappi looks really good. I like the pesto, I like the noodles, I like the cheese, I like the chicken. Oh boy. What kind of cheese is this? Mmm. So I love, love, love the cabbage toppy noodles. I love the pesto. They could have gave me a little bit more cheese. The cheese is a little bit skimpy, you know what I mean? And the chicken was just flat out garbage. I mean, the chicken was tender, but it had no freaking flavor. How are you gonna give me chicken in the cabbage toppy with no daggone flavor, huh? What the hell is wrong with you? I guess it gives a seven. I mean, it's only right. It's tortellini pasta time! The pesto is the only thing I can taste. This thing is lathered down with pesto, you hear me? But I think I like it. Got the little tortellinis filled with the ricotta, parmesan, and mozzarella mix. You got my mushrooms on here, you got my parmesan, and you also got my mozzarella. This was good, so I gotta give this an eight. We got the Japanese pan noodles with marinated steak. Caramelized with noodles and sweet soy sauce, marinated steak, broccoli, mushrooms, and carrots, topped with black sesame seeds, and cilantro. I love cilantro. Mmm. Mmm. Damn! I love the noodles. They're nice and thick. Just like, uh, they're nice and thick. I love the broccoli. I love the sesame seeds. I love the carrots. I don't like steak. Steak ain't marinated. This is flat out steak. Now, why you lie to me? Hmm? Now, why you lie and say this is marinated when it's not? This ain't marinated steak. This is just steak. But I will say, it's still good. With the delegation, I have to give this a moving on. We got the Alfredo Montemore with the Parmesan chicken, yeah. Spaghetti noodles and four cheese blend, Alfredo, roasted mushrooms, tomato, spinach, and Parmesan crusted chicken top with Montemore cheese, and cracked pepper. Damn, that gave me a lot of noodles. Mm. 
It's, it's okay. I love how they marinated the spaghetti noodles in the four cheese blend. That was excellent. But damn it, can you give me a little bit more chicken? I mean, the noodle to freaking chicken ratio is a little off. Are you trying to save chicken for yourself? This is ridiculous. Oh yeah, by the way, I couldn't really taste the crab pepper. I'm not sure where that came in at. But anyway, I get to seven. Time to take a break, y'all. I ain't got tired. <sighs> Ginger ale. Hits the spot every time. Uh, Buffalo Chicken Mac, bring your ass over here right now! Wisconsin mac and cheese with Parmesan chicken, Frank's red hot buffalo wing sauce, Parmesan and green onion. I put that shit on everything! Oh man. So let me say this. I've never had Frank's red hot on mac and cheese. It's the best idea ever. I mean, it's the right amount of spice and it really brings out the flavor and everything. The chicken to freaking noodle ratio is freaking off. There wasn't enough chicken, there wasn't enough Frank's Red Hot. And you know what, I may have a little bit of Frank's Red Hot left. I got a lot of that good old Frank's Red Hot left, baby. Now let's see how you taste it now. Oh, sexy ass. Mmm, oh my God. So much better. Even though I had to add the Frank's Red Hot, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a nine for that. So this was down, but this is pretty damn good. Japanese Pad Thai. Mmm, I really like that. The stir fry is awesome. The nap and red cabbage, awesome. Cilantro, awesome. Spices, awesome. The noodles, awesome. Everything about this is just awesome, even the eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a 10. Woo, Lord have mercy, I'm tired. So I only got the noodle soup because the lady told me that the noodle soup was one of the best soups that she's ever had and one of the best soups that they serve. So uh, yeah, I don't believe this is gonna be all that good. She says it is. Let's just try it. This is where it better be good. Hmm. It is pretty good. So I gotta say, the chicken noodle soup was off the chain. I love the noodles. I love the broth. I think you guys got a little bit of carrots up in here. I can taste those. You guys put plenty of that up in there. But you guys did not put a lot of chicken in here. I mean, you guys just got the biggest chicken problem I've ever seen in my life. I mean, for real, y'all got one, two, three. Four. Give me five little pieces of chicken, man. What's up with that? Overall, chicken noodle soup was good, and I gotta say, it is better than most, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight. Veracruz! From my understanding, this is one of the best salads on the menu that's asked for very often. Haven't had a salad in a long time. Yo, this is... This is busting right here. Chicken's not seasoned, per usual. Bacon's good, I can taste the guac. You got the crispy jalapenos on here. And this sauce... Oh, that is jalapeno ranch dressing. Bear Crusade. Damn. Are we on dessert yet? I'm freaking full, man. Yes, the freaking chocolate chip cookie. Man, this thing is big as hell. I mean, look at it. Mm-mm. One of the most biggest, stalest, disgustingest, if that's even a word, chocolate chip cookie I've ever had in my black life. This is horrible. Hell no. One. The last thing on the menu is the freaking Rice Krispie Treat, y'all. My mother used to make Rice Krispie Treats all the time. You know, the ones from the box. You know, I've never seen a Rice Krispie Treat the size of a paper. Oh. I have absolutely no problem with the Rice Krispies treat. It is good all the way around. It was crunchy, it was big as hell. I got taste the marshmallows. It tasted fresh. I freaking loved it. Thanks for making this good. I appreciate that. So my favorite 
I gotta say, I had a couple. Bear Crew Salad was the bomb. The Buffalo Mac and Cheese was the bomb. And the Rice Krispie Treats was amazing. Oh, and the Japanese pan noodles, those were good too. But if I gotta choose out of all those, I gotta give it to the Bear Crews with the Jalapeno Ranch dressing. Uh, oh my God, it was just so freaking good. Least favorite? Oh my God, this is the easy one. There's nothing in life. There's nothing that you will ever taste that's more nastier than that nasty ass, stale ass chocolate chip cookie. Y'all should be selling that. I mean, yeah, I, I, I should. Somebody needs to be smashed. I mean, seriously. Now that my stomach is hurting from eating all this pasta, I thank y'all so much for tuning in to me today and watching this video. And I'm about to go take a shit. So if you excuse me, see you guys next time.